Melvin Joyner, and I'm the husband of Queen Grey Joyner, the honoree today. I just want to say a couple of things about the birthday itself. I'm glad that she's not a policeman because when we go home, she would arrest me for... <laughs> She would arrest me for a conspiracy. <laughs> at the at the eleventh hour, I was pulled in on the plane. <laughs> and believe me, around this, this household, keeping a secret <laughs> is hard. But at this particular time, fourteen twenty seemed like Fort Knox. You couldn't break through. <laughs> I would like to just, first of all, thank all of the children, the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren, the great-great-grandchildren, the nieces, the nephews, and all the friends who came out to support this good lady. And I, I do say good lady advisedly because I have been around long enough to observe motherhood, real motherhood. And I've lived long enough to observe people who try at motherhood. This is real motherhood. This lady, in case those of you may not know, is like the neighborhood mother. When the children in the neighborhood had no place else to go, they could always come to Miss Gray. <laughs> And these children are now adults, and they still feel this way. I'd like to shut up and sit down by just leaving you with one thought. And this is something that I have watched her live every day. It's, it's a, uh, a quote from the book of Proverbs, uh, third chapter. It starts out by saying, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and in all thy ways acknowledge him. He shall direct your path. And I want to throw it out to you because it's, it's so easy to give up, and I think that because of age, experience, and wisdom, she has set the stage to lead many, many young people. Uh, it's hard to follow her example in, in today's climate, I know. But if you do, you will not make a mistake. Again, I want to thank all of you for accepting me as a part of you. And I want to thank her for accepting me as a part of her. Thank you. I had no idea that uh, something this large would be uh, planned for me. Of course, I should have known if um, my daughter Phyllis was involved in it, I knew it had to be something. <laughs> Because the way she did before, on my 70th birthday, she did the same thing. Surprised me with all these people and everything. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know, uh, really, I had an idea, but I said, now, what are they planning, I wonder? And nobody said, every time I asked about it, nothing, nothing. <laughs> nobody would say, everything, nothing, nothing. We just going out. Ross said, I said, Ross, where are you going? Uh, that's all right, you just get dressed. And uh, the body wouldn't tell me a thing, so I had, um, I remembered um, Sonia had called and said, uh, uh, Mama, what, what's your favorite color? I said, lavender and paint. I said, why? She said, I just wanted to know. And what's your size? I told her. But I still didn't think that the, all of this was involved. I am so happy to see everybody, all my nieces. I'm so happy you all came. Everybody came. 
all my grandchildren, great grandchildren, all my friends, everybody. I, I hope I will be able to um, be around. I'm saying all the time, I hope the Lord bless me. Live to be a hundred. All right. Yes, yes. And that will be a great, great, great time if I get to 100. But I thank God for getting to 80. I had no idea that I would make 80, really. But I'm here, and thank God, and thank everybody who came today. Woo! Yeah! Okay, Kylie, this is the granddaughter. She's going to sing her grandmother.